eating leftovers. I have leftovers, and this is what you come up with? Yeah. Leftover spaghetti from the chicken parmesan on a tortilla? Are you going to eat my salad too? Yeah, probably. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. Seriously? Is it good? That's yes. just, I can't even, I, I don't know where your head goes. You're clearly your father's son on that one. That is definitely something dad would do. Thank you for throwing away your stuff. Bosley's gonna stick to the basics. Some people may wonder why I have a hand weight on their food and his food bowls. It's because he and the Westies have learned to flip this out and get into the food underneath. So that little weight actually stops them from doing that. Very thirsty boy. Hey guys, I uh, had to run errands today and I didn't want to run them by myself, so I bribed my children. Say hello. Yeah. Um, I told them if they came with me, I would buy them lunch and they get to choose the lunch place that they're choosing and we are at Firehouse Subs. So, um, a very loud ESPN going on in the background, which my youngest son is thrilled about, and I'm going to dig into this. Well, I don't know how much of this I'm really going to eat, but it's a turkey cranberry sandwich. It looks a little sad and pathetic, but anyway, um, I'm going to try eating maybe half of it, and then we're going to go run some more errands. All right, the Goldberg bus is leaving. Wave hi, everybody. I picked hi. up an extra kid. and Are we getting another one? Yeah. All right, so... Somehow this coming on errands with me turned into me getting everybody's friends for them. So, oops. Just, just shade. So we're not gonna move forward until I say, everybody's seatbelts on? Seat belt Get on. your foot down. All right, and we're off. Got back from running our errands and picking up eight million children. And I just heard my, oh, there it is. Gotta find my cell phone. My own son is texting me from upstairs because it's too hard to yell. What is he sending me? He's sending me links. YouTube links. Oh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, when we got home, look what showed up. Four packages. One of these I know is for a swap I'm doing with Michaela from Miss Budget Beauty slash Diary of a Spendaholic. But the rest are one bobble bars for me and I have a package from Goriana and a package from Makeup Geek. So let me open up all these packages and I'll come right back. That was a lot of stuff I just opened. Um, okay, one thing, this thing that's from Bobble Bar, you cannot see because this is for Michaela. Um, we're doing a swap together and she requested a couple of things and managed to get her one. So that's over there. You'll have to just ha watch her swap video when this stuff comes to her. Then um, this came from Goriana. If you've watched my vlogs, then you know I love, I have a Tainer Bar necklace. I have it in silver and gold. Um, except the silver one is MIA and it's making me crazy. I might just have to buy another one. And then I'm always wearing, if you ever see, I'm wearing either flat, kind of like hammered gold discs, either in silver or gold actually. Those are both from Goriana. Those are my all time go to favorite earrings, but it's getting a little, I don't know, I just wanted to branch out. And I saw this. These are from the Tainer Bar collection. These are the pressed Tainer studs. And so they're very, I think, elegant and dainty and classic and pretty and just not an everyday thing. And then the other thing from Bobble Bar is this, I don't even know what this necklace is called. Shoot. I'll have to look it up in the paperwork, but look at this. Okay, it doesn't actually go with this outfit, I'd say, but I think it's kind of fun. I don't know, the nice thing about Bobble Bar is that um, the prices are really reasonable, so you can, and they're always having sales and specials, and you, if you, start buying stuff from them, you sign up for their vault points, so like for every X amount of dollars you spend, you get X amount of points, and then you can use those to buy things. So you can buy like weird stuff that you might not necessarily get. So I just threw this on. Anyway, um, it doesn't go with this really, but I think it's a fun kind of spring summer thing. I'll probably do an updated kind of like new bubble bar slash jewelry stuff for spring summer, because I've been ordering quite a bit from them, and when it all comes in, we can do a little like these. We can do a little thing. And then the highlight was my Makeup Geek order. So these are, how cool are these? So the bottom two are um, foiled shadows. They are, the, the palest one is called In the Spotlight. That's the one on the bottom. Look at that shimmer. And then the one in the middle is called Grandstand, sorry. And then the top one is just a normal one. It's called Mocha. Um, yeah, so that, I say that's it, but I think that was quite the haul. It's like Hanukkah here. So anyway, um, I'm going to put all this stuff away and clean up and 
Um, I think I'm going to sneak in watching some Scandal because I still haven't seen last week's episode yet. I heard it was good. See you later. So there's some weird staticky noise on our phone line. Which one? Oh, that's it. So I went online to report that it's a problem and it says figure it out yourself before you call us. That's basically what it says. So here I am. And I'm following the directions and we're going to see, we're going to test the, uh, oh, I brought the wrong kind of screwdriver. That stinks. Darn it. All right. I'll be right back. It says to unplug the jack, but it doesn't say which freaking jack. All right. I guess we'll do them both. Give this a shot. Okay. I can hear a dial tone. It's connected to that jacky thingy. So now I forgot what that means. I better go in the house and find out. Gosh, darn it. I'm back in front of the computer. I have determined that there is a dial tone outside, so now it's telling me the trouble is in my wiring equipment or my jack. So, now you should know if the problem is in your location. Yay, it is. You may want to check your phone equipment to see if that is causing the problem. To proceed with it. <sighs> wow, now I can see why people are giving up their home phones. Unbelievable. I have like 20 phones in this house. No, wait, I have one, two, three, four, five, like six. Now I have to run around the house unplugging phones. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is freaking hysterical. Maybe hysterical is the wrong word. Ironic? Frustrating? Uh, so I went through the whole process on the AT&T website, AT&T.com, and you go through the whole troubleshooting process, and then it says, okay, you've tried everything. Are you sure you want to submit the ticket for troubleshooting? And I said, yes. So I click submit and this is what it says. We cannot process your trouble ticket at this time. The troubleshoot and resolve system is currently down. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, you can't come fix my stuff because your stuff's broken? Like, that's just that. Does anybody else see the irony in this? Anyway, so then it lists a bunch of phone numbers that you can like call like with a phone. So I call, I sit on hold, I get through the automated thing, and then it proceeds to tell me it's gonna be a $100 service call. And while I'm sitting there contemplating, do I really wanna go through all this? I notice there's no static. So I don't know if it just resolved itself, if somehow after all it did work, all my resetting all the phones and running around the house like a crazy person actually worked. But let me see. There's no static. Okay, so there you go. So yay, I don't need AT&T to come. Okay, so we are about to go on night number three in a row without our kids. This is this is definitely spring break. Uh, I wanted a quick outfit of the day slash now evening. So um, this is my favorite go-to jacket. There are a lot of options out there in the market. I'm not sure if the Old Navy one is still around, but a bunch of new, of new ones came out for spring, so I'll link the latest one. This is a really old sweater from Loft that is no longer in existence, sorry. This is from Bobble Bar. These are some old jean jugging things from Target. These are really awesome. I don't know if you can see how awesome they are. Boots that my husband bought me this year. I can't remember for what occasion. And then, um, you can come back up, baby. Come up. And then this is my newest. Um, when we had the Elaine Turner meet up, this little guy came home with me and um, it can be converted into different lengths of a strap. I can wear it as a crossbody, and I can even tuck it in and wear it as a clutch if I'm going out in the evening. So anyway, I wanted to bring it out. I can't remember the name of it. I'll link everything below. I took my earrings off because my ears are hurting. Um, I think I have a little ear infection. So anyway, that is that. Um, Milani pink love on the face, and let's go get some chips and guac at El Daco's. <laughs> this is why we come to El Daco's. Ready? Yeah. Rebel and Molito. Rebel y 
mojito. Yum yum. Okay, so we have sucked down a rebel, which is half margarita, half mojito, 100% deadly. And uh, we ate the entire bowl of guacamole, and now to finish it off, sopa pias. Hopefully, some of that will suck up whatever I just drank. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight. I'm gonna enjoy my dessert with my gorgeous husband, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Adios, amigos. Hasta mañana. Adios. I'm on the couch with the Westies. That was my this chair. I'm gonna just shut my eyes for a little bit. But before I do, I want you to see 